Hello everyone, welcome back to James's Classic Movies. James with you. And of course we got a great big one for you today. This is the uh, creations of J.R.R. Tolkien. Professor Tolkien uh, was born January 3rd, 1892 in South Africa. He passed away on September the 2nd in 1973 in the United Kingdom. Uh, he married a woman named Edith, and that marriage lasted from 1916 to 1971, and produced four children, Christopher, Priscilla, Michael, and John. He was a professor of Anglo-Saxon at uh, both uh, Pembroke College and the University of Oxford from 1925 to 1945. Meanwhile, being a language professor, he produce some novels that uh, we all are very familiar with and the first of those uh, novels is The Hobbit. He wrote this in 1937. A great book. And then for the next 12 years after that he produced The Lord of the Rings series. These books here. Now keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that it took him 12 years to write these books. Along with the companion to all that, the Salmarillion. Sal after writing the book for 12 years, it took him another five years to get them published. Uh, <laughs> and then, of course, they were broken up into three books and, and, and later on in life, uh, they were turned into movies, which we're going to be talking about right now. The first of those movies, produced by Peter Jackson in New Line Cinema, uh, was The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. Now, you can also get this on the extended uh, edition. And if you get the extended edition, I highly recommend that you watch it on this because uh, everything that was cut out of the movie is in this edition. And most of you out here already know this. Saying to you, my dog <laughs> uh, is barking at his dog food for some reason. Uh, <laughs> anyway, take a look at this. Legend tells of a ring created by an ancient evil that gave its wearer the power to enslave the world, believed lost for centuries. It has now been found. Is it secret? Is it safe? This is the One Ring, forged by the Dark Lord Sauron. Sauron needs only this ring to cover all the lands of a second darkness. He's seeking it, seeking it all. His thought is bent on it. No one knows it's here, do they? Do they, Gandalf? The weapon of the enemy is a gift. Let us use it against him. You cannot wield it. None of us can. The ring must be destroyed. It was made in the fires of Mount Doom. Only there can it be unmade. I know what I must do, but I'm afraid to do it. One does not simply walk into Mordor. There is no other way. My dog was upset because uh, I didn't mention the cast of the movie, uh, starring Elijah Wood as uh, Frodo, Viggo Mortensen as Aragorn, 
uh, Sean Austin as uh, Sam Wise Ganji, and of course Orlando Bloom is Legolas. And of course, you know the other characters are in it. I really don't have to mention them. Uh, this was released in 2001. 2002 saw the release of The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Now, caskets into more problems. Take a look. Track a band of Urukai westward across the plain. They've taken two of our friends captive. Look for your friends, but do not trust to hope. It has forsaken these lands. We're lost. I don't think Gandalf meant for us to come this way. He didn't mean for a lot of things to happen, Sam. Come back to you now, at the turn of the tide. Saruman's forces have begun their attack. He is using Saruman to destroy your people. They were unarmed. They had no warning. This is but a taste of the terror that Saruman will unleash. You must fight. I will not risk open war. Open war is upon you, whether you would risk it or not. A new power! rising. Its victory is at hand. There is an army bred for a single purpose, to destroy the world of men. You must lead the people to Helm's Deep. By order of the king, the city must empty. Where is she? The woman who gave you that jewel? The alliance between men and elves is over. Our time here is ending. Arwen's time is ending. Let her go. Where is it? Just tie him up and leave it. No! You know the way to Mordor. There will be no dawn for men. the ring. Bruno! It's taking hold of you. You have the gift of foresight. Tell me what you have seen. He is not coming back. The defenses have to hold. They will hold. There is nothing for you here. Only death. There is still hope. And of course, in 2003, we saw the return of the king. And of course, I don't really need to tell you what the story is about because you already know. Aragorn takes back the throne of Gondor. Take a look. The eye of the enemy is moving. <laughs> the end has come. Frodo moves closer to Mordor. How do we know Frodo is alive? What does your heart tell you? Come, Master! Come to Smeagol. This is your test. Every path you have trod through wilderness, through war, led to this road. The enemy will never let Aragorn come to the throne of Gondor. It is time. Give him the sword of the king. Become who you were born to be. The precious sleepy eyes. He means to murder us! Baba! I'm not sending him away. Come to me. Said that. 
pieces of movie. Here's Hela. Now, considering it took, uh, you know, five years to complete these movies, and, of course, the cast was dedicated to what they were doing, and it was a good casting by Peter Jackson, you know. Of course, the ring, the ring of power had to be returned to Mordor where it could be destroyed and all the adventures in between. But after that, or actually before the uh, Lord of the Rings took place, uh, of course, The Hobbit was uh, released. Now, The Hobbit was written as a children's book. And, uh, of course, Peter Jackson, after The Lord of the Rings, did a trilogy on that, starting in 2012 with uh, Hobbit Unexpected Journey. This is the story of how Bilbo got from point A to point B, because you remember the start of The Lord of the Rings, he tells... But, uh, come on, Frodo, about his adventures with the dragon and so forth like that. Well, of course, we all know this details that. Take a look. Far to the east, over ranges and rivers, lies a single, solitary peak. The dwarves are determined to reclaim their homeland. I like visitors as much as the next hobbit. But I do like to know them before they come. Visiting. Mr. Baggins? At your service. Hmm? <laughs> I'm surrounded by dwarves. What are they doing here? Oh, oh they're quite a merry gathering. <laughs> so, this is the Hobbit. You asked me to find the 14th member of this company, and I have chosen Mr. Baggins. Me? No, 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 no. Hobbits can pass unseen by most if they choose, which gives us a distinct advantage. We will seize this chance to take back Erebor! Here, Mr. Bilbo, where are you off to? I'm going on an adventure! Mithrandir, why the halfling? Why Bilbo Baggins? Perhaps it is because I'm afraid. And it gives me courage. So this is your purpose, to enter the mountain. What of it? There are some who would not deem it wise. A dark part has found a way back into the world. Why don't we have a game of riddles? And if it loses, what then? If it loses, precious, then we eat it. <laughs> if Baggins loses, we eat it whole. Fair enough. I will take each and every one of these dwarves over the mightiest army. Loyalty. Honor. A willing heart. I can ask no more than that. Home is now behind you. The world is ahead. Of course, our boys now are going to take back the mountain where Smog the, uh, the dragon 
fire breathing dragon is waiting on him. <laughs> uh, of course, gives us no indication how long dragons live. I guess until somebody takes them out, but their adventure uh, goes in. But now we have a, a couple of new characters uh, added in to our original characters of Martin uh, Freeman as Bilbo, Ian McKellen as Gandalf, Richard Armitage as uh, Theron, and of course Benedict Cumberbatch as the voice of Sauron and Smaug. So those are voices to, li uh, to listen for when you listen to Smaug and Sauron. Uh, if you remember, Benedict Cumberbatch also played Sherlock Holmes. Now, the second movie, uh, The Desolation of Smog finds the boys going after, well, the mountain and trying to throw Smog out of the mountain so they can reclaim their home. Take a look. The tales and songs fall utterly short of your enormity. Oh, Smog, the stupendous. We are the dwarves of Elabor. We have come to reclaim our homeland. I offer you my help. Now that we know it won't betray us. We don't. There is no king under the mountain, nor will there ever be. It will not end here. With every victory, this evil will grow. Legolas has grown very fond of you. Do not give him hope where there is none. You have no right to enter that mountain. I have the only right. We've been blind. In our blindness, our enemy has returned. I found something in the Goblin Tunnel. What did you find? My courage. Good. You need it. Dragon fire and ruin. That is what you will bring upon us. He cannot see beyond his own desire. I will not risk this quest for the life of one burglar. His name is Bilbo. Of course, meanwhile, heading back to the mountain, the boys are captured by uh, the Wood Elves, uh, Legolas, uh, where Legolas is from. And, uh, of course, we run, run into Orlando Bloom as Legolas and Evangeline Lilly as Terrell, who falls in love with one of the, uh, the uh, dwarfs. And, of course, they finally get to the mountain where they run into smog. And then the final movie coming out in uh, 2014, the uh, well, the Battle of the Five Armies. Uh, they do everything they can to get rid of Smaug, and Smaug decides to take his revenge out on the city, the Lake City. Uh, he attacks the city, and one of the uh, people there happened to have the black... Uh, the Black Arrow, the big long spear type thing, been able to take out Smaug. Now the there are five armies that are approaching the uh, the city where these hobbits are at, and uh, army of dwarves, army of elves, army of the bat, couple of armies of the bad guys. <laughs> you got it. They're all coming in to converge on this place, so we're gonna have a battle. With, between five armies and of course uh, the king uh, of the underground era of the uh, city is going to have to decide you know what's more important 
his uh, people or a rock. This was the last move in a master plan. A plan long in the making. These bats are bred for one purpose. For more. Leave Sauron to me. Gave a promise. You brought upon them only ruin and death. You've won the mountain, is that not enough? Now, we defend it. I came to reclaim something of mine. This was the last move in a master plan. A plan long in the making. These bats are bred for one purpose. For war. Leave Sauron to me. Bilbo is right. You cannot see what you have become. Everything I did, I did for them. You started this. You will forgive me if I finish it. When faced with death, what can anyone do? while others fight our battles for us! You have but one question to answer. How shall this day end? Now, once the battle was over, uh, of the Battle of the Five Armies, uh, and the uh, characters move on, of course, then the Lord of the Ring happens. But now, in 2022, uh, Lord of the Rings is back with a TV uh, uh, special. Well, not, not a special, but a presentation of the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, and starring... Morphid Clark, I believe, as Gladradrell, Gladradrell, uh, I'm sorry if I tear these names up, uh, Sophia Novet as Dissa, and Robert Armand, uh, Armeo as Elrond. Uh, this is uh, dealing with a couple thousand years before Lord of the Rings happened, uh, back when you've seen him uh, attacking Sauron for the first time. You, even the freak, uh, the story of the rings is, uh, Gladriel tells the story of, uh, the armies coming into battle with Sauron, and Sauron falls in the ring of, uh, power goes, uh, uh, around, and, ah, uh, nobody can control it, and so forth, uh, and how all the, all the elves came into possession of these rings, and the drawers, and the, excuse me, all these, uh, people in the possession of the power rings of power and we see this in this television series in which I hope you'll watch take a look at this my brother gave his life hunting the enemy his task 
is now mine. Speak your truth. Stand with me. Ours was no chance meeting. Not fate. Nor destiny. Ours was the work of something greater. Each of us. Every one must decide who we shall be. I am not the hero you seek. Whatever it was you did, be free of it. One day this will be your kingdom. Raise your sail and then let go. Choose not the path of fear. Out of faith. One thing we can do better than any creature in all Middle Earth, we stay true to each other with our hearts even bigger than our feet. We can survive this. Wait! No! We keep moving! Why do you keep fighting? There is a tempest in me! You have fought long enough, Galadriel. Put up your sword. Without it, what am I to be? Now this has been on for one season already, probably getting ready to go into its second season. Uh, I urge you to watch it. You can see it on Amazon Prime or uh, Netflix or somewhere around there. I enjoy it along uh, with the other with the movies that are out. If this is going to be released on DVD, I sure hope so, because I'd like to get a, a copy of that. Until next time, I'm James with James's Classic Movies. And along with Raj, y'all here. Get up there. And uh, we'll see you next time for more of James's Classic Movies. <laughs>